Hello my dear nerds, welcome to Minecraft episode 4. We got this guy last episode and we, we have absolutely no means of curing him and turning him into one of those. Yeah, also yeah, I got a, a texture pack. So the windows are clean and the bookshelves are 3D. Yeah, I also did a little bit of uh, terraforming. Not, um, not exactly, it's just uh, I added these. I added a path going to the church and you know, this is this is the nether portal. I added these slabs so it's just, you know, it's you don't have to jump. This this is yeah this is it so far also in the last episode we went to the nether to get some nether quartz and uh, well to be honest that was it and we built uh, the cobblestone farm the automatic cobblestone farm which produces i believe twenty-eight thousand cobblestone per hour and i left it running for like a few minutes or so yeah that it works really well oh yeah i also got vanilla tweaks so it just shows you how which crops are grown i completely forgot i also did one more thing in the church I mean, it still looks... Yeah, I just added this, like the redstone lights, and then... I, I mean, I still have to do a lot. I added two over there, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I did. But yeah, basically, I thought that I had to build like a witch farm, but you know what? Not everything has to be that complicated. I just got a, a cleric, and then he sold redstone. He sold uh, um, the thing, like the, the, the glowstone, and that was it. You don't have to overcomplicate things by building farm for everything. Anyways, in this episode, I plan to clear out the whole village, as in remove every building, make sure everyone is homeless, then dig a nice hole, place a lot of beds in there, and then just breed a lot of villagers, because I'll need like 20 villagers for an iron farm that I'm building. So this, this entire episode is just going to be related to villager activities. This grass is annoying, I'm just going to re remove it all. Okay, yeah, at least you can see some stuff now. It's much better. You, you can see the things. It's clean! Look! This is exactly what I wanted. Also, yeah, this is the guy that helped me with the, with the thing. I'll take more. Because it's not like you could run out of emeralds, right? Ha ha ha! The string farm. Not the duper, the string farm. It's a farm, not a duper. No, why am I not taking the path? The world feels so poor right now. One day we'll be rich. Okay. Perfect. We just have to do this everywhere. Except you can't because, you know, you ran out again. Well, you know, it's slowly getting better. Oh, okay. It's slowly getting better. These two are perfectly lit. That one is almost perfect. Perfection is my middle name. I was going the wrong way. In case everyone doesn't know, and I'm sure nobody knows because I don't talk about it. But this whole thing that I'm doing, like, you know, the house and then the church and then eventually there will be a graveyard. It's essentially because I, uh, I've i been playing a lot of this one particular game called Graveyard Keeper. And I also streamed it in case you want to check out the VOD. Shameless plug. It's just at first I was like, this game is so confusing. I couldn't understand anything. Like what exactly am I supposed to do here? But then once I understood like how the game works and stuff. Oh my god, I became addicted and I could not stop playing. Anyways, I finally finished the game. It took me around 80 hours into or 83 hours into total and it's just it's it's just one of the best indie games i ever played so i i highly recommend you to check it out so basically what happens in the game is there's this buildings right so there's your house then there's the church there's the morgue where you perform autopsies and stuff everything is connected via underground network like of caves or not caves but um cellars let's just say that's what i want to do i want to build a lot of things like a tavern a library um a stock exchange where you know we, we, we will do all the trading stuff and then everything will be like connected from from the cellars or or the, or the caves i don't know what the word is english is not my first language but that's the plan i have for this world it's it's you know still it's very basic i still haven't placed that one stupid block i, I want to keep it as as real as it gets i don't want to go all well, i got 16 trillion diamonds in in 100 days i don't want to do that i i want to keep it real 
I want to play it at a, at a pace that's comfortable. Meanwhile, also, you know, being interesting because I don't want the, the series to go boring. And that can happen if there's, you know, not enough content. So if I feel like if I add a little bit of lore to the to my world, uh, it would not only be interesting for me to play, it would also be nice for, for people that are watching. So that's, that, that, that's the plan. I hope everyone understands. All right, so it's the next morning, not in real life, just in Minecraft. In real life, it's been like 20 seconds. But yeah, it's the next morning and uh, you know, I already told you what the plan was to clear out the whole village. Like every house just disappears. All the beds are in, in one place and then we just breed. Not we, not we just let the villagers breed with all the crops that we have and probably they have as well they have a farmer so i can buy some stuff and just give it to them and it's not like i i have any money problems what should i start with huh exactly yes sir and the good thing is all all of the blocks that i'll get i can just use them for something else you know it, what, what do you sell you, yes you see this guy sells bread we can easily breed the villagers not him and i although i do need mending i i have mending don't i well i don't have a, a the thing yeah that's the issue i don't have the the, the, the thing the the anvil i don't have the anvil you know what goal one get the anvil i have five iron to my name that's 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 not going to be enough Ooh. How many do you need? So you need 27 for the for the three blocks and then four. So 27. So I need 23 iron. Yeah, there that that shouldn't be very hard. I think I can do that. Let me go iron hunting. I'll fix it. The ravines used to be so much better. Now it's just copper everywhere. There's something over there. Oh, I didn't bring a bed. Now I have a lot of time. Hey, I remember that. Is it, isn't this where I got the calcite from in episode one? I think it was somewhere around here. So good news and bad news. I found the cave where I found the calcite. Well, you know what? The bad news is over. Yeah, that was the bad news. I, I thought, okay. How are we going to approach this? I have to get there. Oh, there's some over there as well. And some over there. Okay, I could just jump and then mine and then... Uh, it's been five minutes. I'm just talking about doing do, mining iron. But I still haven't even like entered the cave properly. Let's just go home sleep come back in the morning which is not going to be you know any better safety is very important so i'll just go home sleep wake up and then you know go north <laughs> that has worked really well for me in the past aha i have enough i actually have enough so this is perfect i can go home I, you see i always say dude north best direction i also made a diamond sword because you know you know, what if I tried to enchant it? I mean, I have 30 levels. And it's not like levels are any hard to get. Looting 3. Oh, yes! Yes! This is perfect. This is actually so good. Oh my god, I love it. I'm not even, like, saying it ironically. I genuinely like smite on my sword. 3 iron blocks. Finally a furnace. Not a furnace, an anvil. Anvil goes in the middle because it took the most grinding and I first uh, I can't even see how many levels is that but shouldn't I get a mending book first I think I should where did my thing wait is it upstairs all right that's three books uh should I get all mending yes, so now I have the the almost perfect pickaxe and almost an almost perfect axe which you know which I'll get eventually because again it's it's super easy to get xp uh like i said yesterday or or two days ago that i would be removing the entire village as to like the whole thing is flat is this time for a time lapse sponsored by my friend dex yes
a lot of the village has been destroyed. It took like two in-game days, which is like 10 minutes. So I, I have pretty decent tools, so yeah. But yeah, that's a, a few, like, um, what am I? What? That's gone. Then all of these from this side are gone, except for that. I'll just burn that one because it's way too big. And that one. Aqua affinity is good. I'll take that. Oh, fine. Get, I'm, I'm, I mean, yeah, got protection four. By the way, just so it's clear, this trading hall is 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 not the the, the, the end game. I'll build a really good one. I have the design in mind. Don't worry, it's going to be really good. But this this is just temporary, so that we can you know get started with enchantments. Other than that, it's it's pretty good. I mean, it works for now. And again, like I said, I want the series to not be very paced, if that's the word. I want things to be going slow and smooth, not just like fast and unsmooth. I think I made that joke in the last episode as well, but it doesn't matter. All right, nerds, it's, it's the next day. I did some off-camera mining, but not for diamonds. That I just flattened out the ground and that's the iron farm. Thank you, phone. This is the iron farm that I'm building. As you can see, this design is like the most basic one. Basically, the, the concept is that the game counts any group of five villagers as a village. And the next one should be at least seven blocks away. So I assume it's seven blocks. If it's not, you know, it's just going to be a bit slower. And then same for that. And you don't need a zombie for that. Like these, these golems are not spawned by zombies. They're just there because there's a group of five villagers in there. And that's basically the concept. And I've tested this in my super flat world. It's it's pretty good. It's like 800 per hour in 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 its worst case scenario. So yeah, I'll I'll take that. I mean, any iron is good iron in the beginning, right? So this is what we're building. All of the materials are pretty easy to get, except maybe the hardest thing is 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 waiting for the the glass to smelt. But yeah, other than that, we have everything. Now everyone has jobs. See, not only did I make them homeless, I also made them work for me. No, please, no, 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 you, no, you can't come here. Boo, boo. Why are they coming here? You have a whole village there. Why do you want the house? That is like 300 blocks. Why? The storage is done. Now I think I should start up the time lapse. Because, you know, it'll take me a while to build this whole thing. But for you, it'll be like two minutes. And I'm not using glass. I'm using a... Uh, cobblestone because you know it's 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 pretty easy for me to get since i have a an unlimited amount of it now i'll do the the time lapse because i don't know why i just didn't record i mean i can never forget to press record right it's the next next day the golems might be mad at me because they are <laughs> no I, i'll just put on the helmet guess as it's the best kind of protection i've got i still have two more villager chambers to build and after that it'll be considered complete but these guys have to breed one more baby which is okay because we you know we have uh this guy not this wait yeah they are definitely mad at me let's see if the golems attack yep i'm sure that guy is also mad they'll help the last one very soon and i i guess they're doing it yeah, they, they are. it's all five. So this one is full. That one is full, I'm sure. Yes, it is. And then that one is full. So we just need to get that last one. And then the farm will start pumping at maximum speed. And if you're wondering why am I building without the shaders, it's just easier to see the, the blockies. It's about to be evening as well. And the ones that can go up there will go up there. Why is everyone going? No, stop, stop trying to hurt yourself. I can now delete the schematic. And there we go. Working iron farm. A, a, a few inconsistencies like that block. And then those blocks, but inconsistencies are speciality. See, they, they spawn. Maybe it's not the fastest, but you know what? It works. Yes, sir. It's working like clockwork. Is, is that what this? I think that's what they say. Yeah, go in, go in, go in. We need more of you. There's two job blocks. Perfect. All right. Why did you take that one that you didn't need? Is there any other job block? No. I'll put this in there. 
Now let's do the exact same thing we have done over like 700 times because that's always the most fun part of Minecraft. Yeah, and also I'm 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 not going to fast for I'll just cut it to the the, the good it, the, the moment I get a good enchant. Uh he's selling silk touch. I mean I guess yeah sure why not? Alright. That's one more guy that's set up. Now we need to set up this guy. This is a joke. I mean 63? Just because I killed one of you? You know what? I, I mean, I don't have a bow yet, but power 5 or 30 is, is pretty good. I'll get that. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll cut to when there's a good enchant. You know that d didn't even take like a few seconds, sweeping edge 2? I'll take it. Should I? Efficiency 5 for, for a, a whole stack. Nah. Uh, you know what? Thank you. This is beautiful. Alright. I think I am pretty decked out. So this is this is a good setup. I'm turning off the shaders. right I am the guy I'll take the, the ghast here oh I mean, where should I be going there's way too many ghasts everywhere sadly I don't really have a recording for this but I do have a replay that I saved you son of a gun wait oh yeah let's go it's not that far like over there is the the, the portal Really looting three and absolutely zero. I am being very cautious because they like the the, the the wither skeletons do spawn in in like corridors as well. That would make a fun YouTube short. No, they're trapped. Yep, I'm done. I'm fo I'm going to the opposite side of, uh, of 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 the dirt pillar that I made. First, I went that way. Now I'm trying this way, and I'm placing dirt blocks so I don't lose my way. There's a lot of way way. Is it that close? Ah, good for me. Yeah, it's pretty close. Well, we made it home. Thank you, Fortress. I wasn't recording my bad i thought i was recording but uh, i got i got an efficiency five for seven emeralds you know unbreaking is something i need still but you know it's just way too good to to skip so i didn't skip anyways i think i might be ending the episode right here as well because uh let's see our goals were build a villager breeder which i technically did then i wanted to get strong which i did protection four and then i also made some changes to my tools and my sword which is you know something i wanted to do and then more villager stuff i traded then i cured the zombie villager i now know where the fortress is 
and I got the blaze rods. Now I already have the ender pearl. So we are progressing in the game as well. Anyways, that was it. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for staying and I'll see you in the next one.